Furniture products commonly require some level of assembly, and Cadasio is a popular choice for those looking to modernise and speed up the creation of their assembly instructions. Since there are often similarities in the process and desired outcome, we have put together a few quick tips for those working in the furniture industry. Cadasio has several different render options, allowing you to style your projects exactly how you want. A common look for furniture is to replicate the traditional IKEA style, and this can be achieved quickly using the technical render style. You may also like to consider using the Toon render style with all the components set to white, which adds a simple level of shading. Changing the edge colour to off black can also help soften the image and get great looking visuals. Remember though, because Cadasio instructions can be shared in 3D online, you can make the most of any render style and show your products in full colour too. When importing your CAD data to Cadasio, more often than not the product will be fully assembled. The quickest way to create instructions is to actually work backwards and start disassembling the product. Once all the steps are in place, they can easily be reversed within the steps manager. If you need to move an individual step, simply drag and drop it into place. Throughout the creation of a project, it's common to need to position objects back to their default positions. And this can be done by clicking the Restore Default Position button from the Transform Tools tab. But to speed things up, there's also the handy shortcut of R. You can also quickly revert the camera by either pressing the C key or clicking the button on the camera menu. This is extremely useful to ensure a consistent view as you'll often have to manipulate the camera temporarily when creating or updating your steps. You can quickly add items from the toolbox into your scene using the quick draw shortcuts. This can be especially useful for drawing explode lines and arrows. With the CAD object selected, right click the line or arrow in the toolbox. This draws it from the object's current position to the default position. Select a CAD object and hold CTRL and right click and it will draw it from the object's current position to the object's step position. Don't forget, if you're not a fan of the dynamic arrows, Cadasio has a range of static arrows that you can add to your scene either from the Asset Manager or from one of the pre-made toolboxes. Furniture instructions often have a number of parts and fasteners that need laying out and numbering so they can be easily identified. The layout tool is a simple and convenient way of automatically achieving this. All objects, visible objects, or selected objects can be arranged into a number of different formations, with the size and spacing being fully adjustable. You can then use the right click shortcut to quickly add some 2D item numbers from the toolbox to finish the step off. When viewing a Cadasio project, the end user can rotate and zoom the camera. This sometimes causes 2D items to obscure the steps view and get in the way. One option to prevent this is to lock the camera into position, preventing the viewer from manipulating the view. However, another approach would be to choose one of the auto hide options. When the auto hide is set, 2D items will automatically hide under the chosen condition when the camera is moved. When moving between steps, you'll want the transitions to look nice and clean and not have objects flying all over the place. A quick way to avoid having to set positions and visibility in multiple steps is to use the step transitions. Think of these a bit like the slide transitions in PowerPoint, and they are a great way to easily add some flair when progressing between steps. Whilst Cadasio's main focus is creating interactive 3D assembly instructions, many projects still require printed instructions, so being able to save out 2D images is a must. If you require your images to be isolated, make sure to tick the Transparent Background for Images option. This way your exported PNGs will have no background, making it easier to incorporate into your 2D documentation. Just be aware that if you've created your steps with this option off, once enabled, you'll need to update your steps in order to recapture the images. A great thing about Cadasio is that from one project you can publish multiple types of output, including PNGs, vectors and movies. We've found the PDF output to be a popular choice for furniture designers. Found on the Tools tab is a very quick way to create a document with multiple steps which can be arranged and numbered across different pages automatically. 
However, a lot of people really struggle to interpret flat 2D instructions. So remember, to see the full benefit of Cadasio, modernize your assembly manuals, you'll want to publish your instructions online. In just a couple of clicks, you can publish your project giving you a URL to link to, as well as an automatically generated QR code that can be included on the packaging or within the printed manual, allowing your customers to easily access fully interactive 3D assembly instructions from their smartphone or tablet. Hopefully you found these furniture quick tips useful. Remember to subscribe to Cadasio on all your favorite social media platforms for more tech tips and news.